The Save the River Murray levy will be abolished in tomorrow's state budget, saving households $40 a year off their water bills. The Premier says the $109 million promise is a response to cost of living pressures. But the Treasurer says tomorrow's budget package will be all about creating jobs, not surpluses. State political reporter Nick Harmson. The River Murray isn't yet saved, but the 12-year-old Save the Murray levy is no more. We are always thinking about uh, ordinary everyday South Australians and their cost of living pressures and that's why we're doing this. The change will result in a $40 annual saving to the water bills of 415,000 households from July. Businesses will save $182 a year. The decision will cost the budget $109 million, meaning the Treasurer will have to find that cash elsewhere to continue funding river projects. The tax cut is still dwarfed by last year's hike to the emergency services levy, but the Premier says the Murray levy was a higher priority for removal. This is a regressive taxation measure. It places the same burden on low-income families as it does on high-income families. After branding the budget hopeless, the opposition leader is now warming to some of the government's measures. He took removal of the River Murray levy to the last election. Another Liberal Party policy which has been adopted by this government after 13 years, they've run out of their own ideas. Well, we, we generally speaking, don't follow the Liberal Party's lead. Um, unless they get things right. The Save the Murray levy isn't the only tax set for reform in tomorrow's budget, but the Treasurer is engaged in some last minute management of expectations. Tomorrow's budget's about creating jobs, not surpluses. He should be able to do both. He should be able to post a surplus and provide tax relief with the, with the uh, money which is available to him now. That includes an $852 million windfall from the Motor Accident Commission. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.